Hey guys, Richard Richard again. Today in this video, um, I am back with another video. Today, uh, today I just talked about the, uh, the uh, Cadillac V-Series R. Um, today, however, I'm going to be taking things to a new level. Uh, today, I'll be talking to you guys about one special car. Um, if you guys have seen, like, um, uh, around half a year ago or so, like, well, six months ago, I recently talked about this car. Here it is. This is the uh, 1995 to 1997 RUF CTR2. Oh, not CTR2, sorry. Yeah. 1995 to 1997 RUF uh, CTR2, which is basically like, I, I call this a, a Porsche 911 on steroids because basically this is underneath, like, this is basically a Porsche 911, but, you know, RUF, like the, the company that is like the same as Porsche, um, like, you know, make performance cars, but RUF kind of takes it to, like, a serious new level, like, you know, making the cars, like, like, taking old Porsches and restoring them to their pristine condition, like, they take old Porsche 911s, and, like, they take, like, old Porsche 911s, yeah, 911s, and they, like, kind of restore them to, like, like, kind of, like, a pristine condition, I would say, and they make it, like, more, uh, better, like, more powerful, faster, lighter, and all that stuff, so, this is what like they really do they make it more and they make it more aerodynamic and uh aggressive as well and more stylish and all that stuff like different like body kits i, I would say they would have um but you know that's like what they really do and um now today i'll be talking to you guys about another ruf but this time i'll be talking to you guys about this one this right here is the ruf rgt yeah is it yeah ruf rgt there is a couple options of these ones um so basically um i will literally just get this done uh uh i'll be doing like part one and two and so on and so forth so for part one there's like <clears throat> three generations of these the first one is from uh 2000 to 2004 the second one is from 2005 to 2011. And then the, then the third one is from 2012 and it was still in production. <clears throat> so, um, today um, I'm going to be doing it in three parts. Um, so, today's part one of the RUF uh, RGT. Uh, then I'll do part two and part three and so on and so forth. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get started. But before we do, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe. So, like the video subscribe comment below what you guys think hit that not notification bell and hit all so you are alerted of when i make new uploads all right <clears throat> without any further ado let's get started all right <clears throat> ruf rgt here we go <clears throat> the ruf rgt is a sports car many i was gonna say manufacturer uh it's a sports car so the ruf RUF RGT is a sports car made by RUF. Hold on, let me just start again. There we go. <clears throat> so, the RUF RGT is a sports car uh, made by RUF Automobile. RUF Auto. I can't even talk. R RUF. There we go. RUF Automobile of Germany. Overviews first, as usual. This time it's got an overview. Thank God. So. As usual for every video I do is overview and that's how it roll that's how it is for every video uh, it talks about manufacturers and like where it's produced and all that stuff and how many were made and when this production is from and all that stuff so overviews first so here we go <clears throat> so the manufacturers first uh, manufacturers by rough automobile or RUF automobile uh, production is from 2000 and it is still in production in the present well, I think of it as the future still. So, t from the year 2000 to the present, well, still the future. Body and chassis next. So, here we go. Uh, the class the class is a sports car. as the S segment. So, the class is a S, S segment uh, sports car. Body style is a two-door... Body style is a two-door coupe. Well, coupe. So, two-door coupe. Oh. Two-door two coupe. There we go. Saying it, like, in the proper way. Uh, its layout is rear-engined, uh, rear-wheel drive. <coughs> Powertrain is next. Uh, for the engine, uh, there's three versions. You can get uh, a first one. You can get as a 3.6 liter. Uh, 
a Porsche M96.05 naturally aspirated flat six. That's for the 2000 to 2004 version. Then you get the 3.8 liter uh, Porsche M97.01 flat six, which that one is for the 2005 to 2011 second generation <coughs> uh, 911 well, RUF. <clears throat> so the 3.6 is for the RUF RGT, the first one. And then for the 3.8 liter is for the RUF RGT 2007 edition from 2005 to 2011. And then for the 2012 version, and it's still in, in the, the present, for the RUF RGT, next to the RUF CTR3, which I might talk about sometime, is the 4.5 liter RUF designed V8. Transmission is a six-speed manual. Doesn't have any dimensions on it and all that stuff. <clears throat> so, first generation is first. So here we go. <clears throat> so from 2000 to 2004. Um, the first gen uh, RUF uh, RGT uh, was introduced in 2000 uh, using an engine and chassis based on the Porsche 911-996 uh, fifth generation. Uh, the original 3.6 liter version uh, could accelerate um, from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.6 seconds, with a top speed of 306 kilometers an hour, 190 miles an hour. So that'll be it for today. Um, I'll be back with part two for this video. I'll be back, folks. Peace.